morning, I'm Jennifer Johnston and I'm in town today to meet Claire and Andy who've just moved into a brand new two bedroom apartment at a vibrant new development a stone's throw from here. They want a little bit of help from me to give their new home the designer look. As a professional, I always cringe when TV makeover programmes say they'll transform a home in one day. But in this instance, this property's brand new, there's no structural changes and good quality fixtures and fittings are already in place. So let's add that designer look that Andy and Claire want in one day. We're going to keep it simple. The apartment's already light and airy and we can add that designer look that Claire wants to achieve with accents and accessories. <laughs> We want the second bedroom to be a relaxing room and these fully fitted wardrobes mean you can keep this wonderful space uncluttered. This bedroom is already a good neutral colour which will last and last and we're going to use some great fabrics to add a touch of romance. It's a getaway room, an oasis of calm. Okay, right, the time has come. Open your eyes. Oh, it's oh brilliant. God. It's beautiful. So, Claire and Andy have got their designer apartments made for city-style living. I'll see you next time. German bombers flying overhead would have had a very different view of this area way back in 1940. You see, the Great Pond here at Frensham was actually drained for the duration of the Second World War because it would have provided a perfect navigational waypoint, leading the Germans directly to the home of the British Army, just three miles north of here. Right, I've spent my quid and if I turn it into a million, I'm going to buy myself my dream car, a Porsche and the one I've always wanted. Uh, not one of those, I want one of these, a Porsche 924S. You know, I could bore you with all the technical stuff about what makes this car so good, but for me, I just think it's bloody gorgeous. for us to imagine just how industrial Cornwall was back then, but the evidence is certainly here for us to see. I mean, from this spot alone, we can see the relics of 17 mines, and this is the environment that Richard Trevithick grew up in. He was formally schooled until the age of about 10 or 12, but his real education began right here, amongst the giant beam engines of Newcomen and Watt. Trevithick knew that if you increase the pressure of the steam, you could reduce the size of the engine, and therefore reduce costs, and perhaps and more importantly for us railway enthusiasts, make it movable. This is Normandy. Isn't she gorgeous? And she's been hard at work now for over 20 years. So maybe it is time she had a well-earned dress. Hello and welcome to another exciting RBS International News programme. And this time we're in sunny Gibraltar. Le Fouillage Burial Ground is 6,500 years old and is possibly the oldest man-made structure in Europe. It represents the beginning of Guernsey's living history. As you can see, there are many exciting developments happening across the offshore bank. But now it's time for a roundup of other stories that are making the news. Well, that's it from me and the team here in Singapore. And thank you for joining us. Next time, we'll be in a different offshore banking location, bringing you all the latest news and developments from around the bank. And if you've got any suggestions on what to include, then please jot them down for us and email them to Offshore Communications. So see you next time, and until then, keep working together. On the next edition of the Railway Monthly, I'm getting hot, I'm getting sweaty, and very, very dirty. They told me to say that.